Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan And yes, we are here today to talk about this RTX 3080 video card Pero syempre, we will be featuring in here uh, yung pinakasikat at saka pinakamabentang video card in the market It is the RTX 3080 Tough Gaming So we have here the OC variant So meron pong dalawang klase ng Tough Gaming video card which is uh, the non-OC at saka yung OC In terms of physical, halos parehas lang naman sila Pero this is uh, the better variant that I may uh, show to you Para at least may papakita ko sa inyo mga kaibigan How will it perform in terms of rendering, gaming At the same time, of course, overclocking So we will be overclocking this video card And explain it to you mga kaibigan How will it perform compared to other uh, video cards And at the same time Of course how powerful is the RTX 3080 And yes for more videos about RTX 3080 Gagawa po tayo ng PC build neto And marami pa tayong pag-uusapan ng mga RTX 3080 video card Inuna ko lang po yung pinakasikat ngayon At syempre pinaka bang for the buck At a price point of 40k plus Which is uh, with all of the video cards in the market I think this is already the cheapest nakita naman na natin nung launch date na nagpakita na lahat ng pricing eto po ang mga pinakamurang variants okay so let's do this mga kaibigan and yes sit back and relax this video is brought to you by SCDKey the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares games and yes operating system and there you are you may check the windows 10 pro and by using our promo code ma avail mo lang siya ng around 14 dollars and 95 cents or 700 plus pesos that's it mga kaibigan check the description below may mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website so unahin ko nang ipapakita sa inyo mga kaibigan yung kanyang performance in terms of rendering pagdating sa mga 3d uh, artists, engineers, and architects. And yes, with the Blender 3D software, eto mga kaibigan, makikita nyo, that it is, yes, way better than the RTX 2080 Ti. Sobrang layo nung difference, and it's so close with the new top-of-the-line RTX 3090. Sobrang konti lang nung kanilang difference. Kaya if you are into a bit more concern in terms of budget, or you don't want to waste 40,000 pesos para sa RTX 3090, then, of course, go to the RTX 3080. Ito talaga, kung titinan lang natin, pagbabasehan natin yung benchmark results, at the same time, yung pricing difference, sobrang layo ng RTX 3090. Kaya kung ikaw is uh, medyo a bit more concerned pagdating sa budget or my limitations, then it's better if you will settle down with the RTX 3080. Saka ka lang mag-RTX 3090 if you are a kind of uh, end user who got no concern in terms of money or you just want to have the best out of the best then of course the RTX 3090 is the go-to video card and ayan yeah, with the pricing of 41,000 why not go for the tough gaming variant and then moving on to the other software in terms of architecture and engineering the Lumion 3D dito rin natin nakita mga kaibigan that it is yes uh, minutes ang uh, difference nila since uh, it's a 4K uh, times 4 anti-aliasing project in Lumion 3D and uh, dito mo rin makikita talaga that the RTX 3090 is so worth it with that uh, huge VRAM pero ayun nga uh, you will just uh, notice that significant advantage kung ang mga nire-render mo na is mga big projects kaya kung ikaw lang is uh, kumbaga most of the projects mo is mga minutes lang nire-render o kaya mga perspective ng mga bahay or you are not kind of a person na nagpa-practice na ng professional uh, uh, career pagdating sa pagre-render ng mga huge projects like uh, subdivisions o kaya uh, mga large scale then here at the Lumion 3D napatunayan natin na konting-konti lang talaga yung difference and yes we didn't also encounter any kind of uh, issues pagdating sa rendering na kadalasan na encounter ng mga medyo alanganin yung video card at uh, ang ginagamit na software is Lumion 3D like nag wide screen or nagka-crash or uh, bigla na lang nag stop yan po yung top 3 na na-encounter if you ask those architects and engineers yan po yung kadalasan nilang uh, concern pag uh, alanganin po yung mga video cards nila 
And then of course, we did some overclocking uh, to prove kung merong uh, advantage. But sad to say, with the Blender 3D, nakita natin mga kaibigan that it's almost the same. Uh, it's not worth it uh, move if uh, you are just uh, overclocking your video card for that kind of uh, projects. So kung medyo marami yung polygon siguro or a kind of project that you will render for 24 hours pag RTX or mga previous uh, variant na video card and with this maybe for around 10 hours then worth it naman na mag overclock. Pero for me, uh, my suggestion is if ganung katindi or katagal yung i-render mo uh, I think it's just better to settle down with a default value kasi uh, kung hindi rin okay yung uh, ventilation mo it's not worth it. Of course, for the last part is gaming. Pagdating naman sa gaming natin mga kaibigan, nakita nyo naman that it is, yes, a very good video card in 1440p resolution. But of course, since you have seen a lot of uh, benchmark already, kasi kadalasan talaga ng mga lumabas na benchmark uh, nung pagka-launch ng RTX 3080s gaming, then let's proceed on the other details which is gaming with some kind of overclocking dahil nga ang isa sa mga nagustuhan nila with a tough gaming variant is having that kind of MLCC though that kind of uh, MLCC reason is uh, a thing na sinabi kong ano nakaraan is not enough to prove that this is a way better video card actually may previous videos po tayo so that will not be uh, the reason pero just for some curiosity para at least makita nyo na rin na kung gaano kalakas itong video card then we go for the overclocking para ma-reach natin yung above 2000 uh, megahertz na frequency in terms of GPU clock. So at default, makikita nyo dyan mga kaibigan sa ating side-by-side -side comparison na uh, okay lang yung kanyang FPS. Pero when we added 100 megahertz dun sa kanyang uh, CPU clock, we managed to have a higher uh, FPS uh, value. Pero... When we added 150, almost uh, walang masyadong nagbago. And when we added 175 and topped up with 2,130 megahertz, hindi po siya nag-crash. Pero when we hit 2,145 megahertz, ayun, nag-crash po yung video card natin. When we added 200 megahertz sa ating overclocking. Of course, uh, we did some adjustment in terms of uh, the power limit pero that didn't compensate yung uh, result so maybe there are uh, tight more tight uh, values that uh, we can uh, adjust pwede pa tayo maglagay ng mga around 180 190 or 185 pero hindi na tayo nagproceed dun uh, i just stick with 175 uh, additional uh, megahertz or frequency para at least mas safe po para sa inyo. Uh, it's uh, take it at uh, or do it at your own risk na lang kung gusto niyo pang taasan po yun. Pero for the sake of uh, a more safe uh, value, eto po, 175, we managed to uh, have that kind of max uh, frequency boost up to 2130 MHz. That is, I think, the highest so far na nakita ko. Wala pa ako nakita sa internet. Pero, of course, yung mga previous kasi natin na mga napanood na videos, maybe, are uh, those with this kind of uh, previous uh, driver version. Yung ginamit na po natin dito is the latest driver update. Kaya sobrang taas yung nakita natin o kaya mas nagawa natin na maitaas yung frequency. So hopefully in the next uh, few weeks, yung mga international YouTubers will redo their benchmark and may papasilip din nila yung kanilang mga results. And uh, I'm also waiting for that. Pero ito nga mga kaibigan, here is the proof, the raw footage na kinuha natin when we are doing the overclocking. And yes, we managed to do it. Uh, nakakatawa lang na it's just because of that driver update ang nag-fix dun sa mga problema natin. Kaya yung mga nag-confuse or nalilito na baka naman gagawa sila ng driver fix pero yung uh, frequency is compromise magkakaroon ng konting adjustments and limitations Pero hindi po yun yung nangyari, kundi tumaas pa lalo or mas nadalian pa tayo na i-adjust yung frequency or do uh, some mild overclocking. So ayun po ang aking mabilisang uh, review of the ASUS TUF RTX 3080. For now, what I can just say after this kind of benchmarks and testings na ginawa natin, it is yes, 
proven that this is a very good video card disregard that kind of mlcc because there's no proof about that yes i love this performance of asus stuff but if you are considering this asus stuff because of that kind of reason that it comes with that mlcc hindi po yun yung uh, pinaka proof or uh, pinaka reason kung bakit nagawa natin kundi it is because of that very good driver update so for this video card I may consider or I may recommend it to all of you guys. Ang maganda rin kasing ginawa nila dito is napaka-neutral ng kanyang design. Pwede mo siyang ibagay sa kahit anong mga uh, components, uh, lalong-lalo na kung black naman yung setup mo. So that is what uh, really uh, good in terms of uh, new Asus top variant. Thank you for watching and for more videos like this and of course the PC build with all Asus tough products. Gagawin po natin yan in the coming days or weeks. Gagawa po tayo ng build na Asus yung chassis, uh, Asus tough din yung board, and all of the rest of the components. Mas dominant po yung pagiging Asus na setup. Abangan nyo po yan because that will be the bang for the buck RTX 3080 PC build with Asus soon. Okay, so for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe.